Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So the Strife and Doctor Strange Arena is over, round two is in the books. And I did go for the five star Strife, and we're going to find out how I did. He went for about 65, 66 million round one. And if you know anything about me, you know that I have, first of all, never missed a champion I've gone for. And that's because I didn't go for every champion. And when I did go for a champion, I put up at least 10 million more than they went for round one, if I could. All right, so we're going to find out. Pretty sure I got the champion. Let's uh, take a look. And boom, right there, rank 16. Uh, we're going to take a look and you'll see the score that I put up. All right, and I just went for milestones in uh, the other arenas, and I did not do, as you see here, the four-star uh, featured arena, and I actually passed for the first time in a very long time on the T1 Alpha, all right? And that's because I wanted to see how much I could actually put up uh, with my current roster. I haven't done a push in a while, all right? So let's... Uh, even though I, I didn't put up anything, let's take a look at the four-star featured arena and see if we recognize any names. Uh, now, Strife had a lot of hype around him, and I heard him being compared to Aegon. And I watched uh, some videos where we had people like KT1 and uh, Katie Candy, and they broke it down, showed how they are similar and different and pretty much why he shouldn't be considered uh Aegon the mutant Aegon or anything like that uh he's good though and if you do not have Aegon then you would have wanted to pick this guy up if you're planning to do the abyss especially uh he is uh an alternative uh for Aegon in the abyss uh, and if you're not familiar with The Abyss, it's currently the hardest content. For me, it's just the longest. Uh, El Nino, congratulations, rank 73, not bad. Um, it's it's the latest, uh, most difficult content out right now. And there are four champions that are considered the best for at least the easy path, possibly other paths as well. Uh, Big Sexy, what it do, man? Congratulations. Uh, that The four, we used to call them the four horsemen, but it's confusing now because uh, ever since Apoc uh, Apocalypse got into the game, uh, he can make horsemen. And so we were calling these guys horsemen even before Apocalypse came in, but it's Nick Fury, Doom, Aegon and Human Torch. Those were considered the four horsemen. Um, but now there is an alternative to Aegon. He's not going to be as good as Aegon, but he is an alternative. The other ones already had alternatives, but Aegon was the one that really couldn't be replaced. But with him, you know, you'll do pretty decently. All right, Max, congratulations, man. Rank 94, Sergeant Bourne. Congratulations, 95. Picking you guys up a uh, four-star. I can't remember if you picked up the five-star in round one. Not everybody does it in the order that I do. Uh, I usually go for the four-star uh, and the three-star in the first round. That way I can see what they went for and decide whether I want to put up a score that is you know, sufficiently over that to guarantee me the champion as much as possible. Uh, low risk, that's me. All right, but um, let's see here. Uh, I don't wanna be uh, running my mouth and then miss somebody. But yeah, everybody um, has a different schedule. Some people work. So round one is over the weekend. So that's when a lot of people would be uh, free to do a grind like what's necessary. And then you have some other people who just pop open crystals, get the champion, you know, first crystal they open, you know, but it's all good. I actually prefer the arena 
because I can put in my time and get the champion. With the crystals, there's no guarantee. I could spend 10,000 units and still not have the champion to show for it. All right, let's go ahead into the uh, four-star basic. It's Dr. Strange. I was actually afraid that I was going to get him by accident. Do you see that score? I actually stopped so that I would not go even a little past the uh, top milestone because I didn't want to get Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange used to be really good. Uh, back in the day, I had a friend uh, who he stopped playing. He's still on my friends list, uh, but he doesn't play anymore. But his top champ at the time was Dr. Strange. And I remember he opened up crystals just like I did. And Dr. Strange was really his best champion. That's who he used in Alliance Quest at the time. We were doing, I believe, map three. And uh, he was good with that Dr. Strange. Dr. Strange was awesome. All right. Saved him a ton of um, items. And at that time, Dr. Strange was considered one of the best champions in the game. But he wanted to get others. You know, he wanted to get a variety and he just could not get any good ones. Uh, he would uh, open up. I don't remember how many crystals he would open up. And his he just had really bad luck. And then he had to watch folks like me and, and others getting champions that he would have loved. Now, I didn't get a Doctor Strange, but I had a Wolverine who I used uh, all the time to save myself items. And, uh, you know, I had several other uh, good four star champions. And then they nerfed Doctor Strange. And that was it for him. You know, I can't even blame him. You know, I, it'd be cool if he came back. You know, he was a good player, a uh, good fighter. I remember at that time, uh, he was usually the one to take out uh, Groot. Uh, if you guys remember back then, Groot was a nightmare uh, to fight in Alliance Quest. And he often was the one to take him out uh, with his Doctor Strange. But he... After that, he was like, that's it. I think he opened up a few more crystals, tried a little bit, and then he was like, that's it. I'm I'm done. Um, they, they nerfed the only good champion that he could get at the time, and he just got fed up, fed up with it. And so he left, and he has not been back, at least on that account. Now, he could have come back to the game and, you know, had a different, you know, account and everything, but... Uh, that account still exists. His name is still there. Um, and I see him there. Uh, I need to check because he might um, he might have come back and changed his name or something. I don't know. All right. So we're getting down to the end here. Top 200. By the way, the four star featured, in case you didn't know, uh, the top 800 get the champion. Uh, so we get to see the top 200. So everyone that we see on these leaderboards has gotten the champion. And... There are quite a few that we didn't see. In the case of the four-star featured, uh, it's 600 that we didn't see. This one here is percentage-based, so there's a lot, thousands of folks that got this champion that we don't see. Now, we are going to go to the final one, to this five-star featured arena. And that is the score that I put up, 82.4 million. And I actually stopped. So... What I did was I went to, you know, do a push because I wanted to see what I could put up. I did not use any units and uh, I wanted to see what, what my roster can do. And I know now what it can do. So when I hit 82 million, what I did, um, Black Gamer, congratulations, man. Um, rank 12, not bad, not bad. So see? 15 people crazier than me. Uh, but anyway, I could have gone uh, further. But instead, I was like, you know, I got the champion. And the whole purpose of me doing a push like that was to see what I was capable of. Dark side, congratulations, man. And I still had my five stars to run through. And 
I could have done a few more of my four stars, a few rounds of my four stars. So I'm fairly certain that I could have put up about 85 million. Uh, and that's, you know, without needing to use any units. I hope I didn't miss anybody. I'm trying to pay attention uh, here, but uh, if I missed you, I'm so sorry, but I'll, I'll try to pay attention. Uh, anyway, so once I found out, you know, and I was pretty sure what I could put up, I said, you know what, let me go to the other arenas and get those units, because that's how I get my units. I don't buy units. And uh, so, and and I don't get any of these offers or anything like that. So I need to get these units in game. And even though I was getting a champion, um, Aditya, congratulations, man. Uh, even though I was getting a champion, I still wanted to get some uh, units. So uh, this morning, just before, you know, the, the arena was going to be ending, I, I got the two star. I did like 30,000 in there. I did the three star, did the uh, milestones. And then I decided to uh, stream early. And what I normally do is I normally do like a last push because my five stars were ready. And I got up early this morning just so that they would be ready. But then I changed my mind and I'm like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and get these units instead. So I didn't do any more grinding in that arena. Uh, my five stars were ready, but I did not use them. Still haven't used them. Uh, the, the next arena is already here, and I have not touched it at all. But I will. And uh, there's also a new arena uh, for Deadpool. You know, the whole love is a battlefield thing, uh, which I'll do. It's a quick one uh, to do. Um, Mark. Congratulations, man. And uh, so uh, I stopped at 82, did the other arenas uh, as much as I could. And we had like 30, another mark. Congratulations. Uh, I had about 30, sec uh, 30 minutes left. 30 minutes left. I did the four star basic, got that one done. It only takes me one uh, pass. And uh, for the last 30 minutes, I just grinded out, um, there was a solo uh, objective for, I think, skill combat. And so I just went ahead and grinded that out uh, for the last bit of the stream. And uh, by the way, if you guys were on the stream, you uh, I'll just let you know that I did get the 1% to 10% in that one. So I was able to, I always select the T4 basic fragments. Uh, so that helps me. Uh, when it gets time for me to level up. And I wanted to do this one now because there's a level up going on right now. So I'm going to claim this guy and I'm going to level him up um, before that level up is over. All right, Pharaoh, congratulations. So, uh, oh wait, Brandon, congratulations, fellow dork. Uh, I really need to look because I'm, I'm still not familiar with everybody that's in my uh, alliance, Quiet Jam. Uh, I'm not uh, familiar, Quiet Big Blue, uh, with everyone in my alliance, and I really don't pay attention all that well. I get in, you know, do what I got to do, and, and that's it. Lord of Shadows, congratulations. So, guys, Lord of Shadows was in the stream, and he was telling me, please, uh, I think I should be able to get him, um, you know, look for my name, and he got him, Okay. Uh, I wonder what he went for. Uh, let us know what score you put up. Um, but you did pretty well. Uh, we were guessing that he was going to go lower round two. And so people uh, that were at, I told you, he went for $65 million. Uh, Well, some people were at $61 million And they were asking me, you know, I don't know if I'll be able to put up, you know, what he went for. And I told him, just keep going. Keep going because there's a chance he went much lower than he did the first round. So uh, I'm happy to see that Lord of Shadows got him. And I know there was uh, some others that were going for him. And we only get to see the top 200. But the top 300 in this arena get the champion. So if you are 
one of those 100 people that got the champion that we can't see right here, leave a comment and let us know what score you put up and your ranking. All right. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And if you did, feel free to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to give me a subscription. And you all have a blessed day.